Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis coming with you with a throwback toy review video. And this week's uh, video is focusing on Transformers Prime First Edition Starscream. And as you can tell, this has been in the box for almost 10 years now. Uh, I wound up getting this just by chance at a Christmas event held by Cybertron's elite members and I was one of the last couple of people uh, they were doing the uh, the white elephant gift exchange and the simple rule is that uh, a gift can be traded or taken twice and that's it uh, and I got lucky because uh, I was like second to the last and this puppy uh, I wound up getting and man I guess the person after me just wasn't interested in Starscream so I wound up keeping them and I kept them in the box uh, throughout all these years and well considering that I had just recently done two throwback reviews uh, under the Transformers Prime lo uh, label I figured why the hell not? Let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. Now I know I am hearing the shrieks and the and the admonitions going. No, don't, don't! Keep them in, keep them in, playing in this blister and all this. But uh, in order for me to continue this review, I have to go ahead and crack them open. Anyway, uh, moving on. So, as you can tell from the packaging, it's got that wonderful, uh, wonderful illustration of his whininess. Um, you know, silver first edition off to the side. The Transformer Prime uh, motif, you know, says two, two in one vehicle to robot. So, it's, he only has that vehicle and robot form. On the side, first edition, 003. Starscream. So he is third in the first edition series. It says display pl uh, display stand included. And if I remember correctly, it does show you on the bottom how you can display him on the stand. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, and on the back, you do see. There we go. Try and get the glare out as much as possible. Uh, you see the product shots of Starscream as well as his jet mode. Also, you know, you see what else is included, uh, what else is coming up, RC and Bumblebee. And I called her, I mean called him RC, sorry my bad, Starscream. And then you see, you know, the cast and crew of the Autobots, you know. And of course I think there used to be a sticker that advertised Hub, which was the network that that pretty much showed uh, Transformers Prime for those that didn't know of course uh, but uh, man I mean just take a look at that man and again there we go that is an awesome looking figure now I have seen reviews of the R.I.D. edition of Starscream and uh, I'm not sure I'm, I'm pretty sure that this will scale pretty well with the R.I.D. edition of, uh, of Megatron, the Voyager class. I think he is a deluxe class. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, just, you know, someone knows, put in the, in the uh, comments down below. But uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and crack him open. And to loosely quote Optobotamus, as always, let's see how cool he really is. All right, folks, there he is out of his packaging and in jet mode. And he is looking awesome. Uh, I mean, he's not like his, you know, his previous G1 incarnation, but more, uh, I mean, uh, man, he is, he's awesome looking. I have to say that much. A uh, lot of good molded detail on here. And I'm going to show that off to you. And man, some really good, yeah, definitely very good molded detail. Of course, you do see the robot legs underneath, but again, you know, 
If you have them on a flight stand, you'll have them at an angle either pointing down or just in flight or even in robot mode. But you can tell, you know, there's this, this rear thruster. A little bit of, I want to say cat hair. How the hell did that get there? Anyway, I don't have cats. What the hell? Anyway, uh, he's got his, uh, his missile on, I mean, his missiles. Uh, now, in the show, he does have red missiles, so these aren't painted. I may go ahead and do that myself. I don't know as of yet. Uh, I do know I am going to be doing a paint job on the uh, on the jetpack for uh, for sideswipe, but again, that's another thing. That's another detail for another time. Uh, that is awesome. And then again, for this side, I mean, you can you really can't see the underside all that well unless you're really looking at it from underneath. <coughs> But all in all, th that's a pretty good looking mode. I really like it. It's very sleek, aerodynamic. Very much like the character. Uh, now, I did make a mention, you know, of his, you know, of uh, to see whether or not they scale. Now in vehicle mode, they do scale yeah, pretty well. There is his his intrepid leader, Megatron. I'm gonna try and zoom out just a bit. Try and get that. Hmm. All right. Had to do a little minor adjustment with the camera to get a more of a wide-angle shot. But nonetheless, there they are within frame, and they are looking pretty awesome. I'm gonna try and zoom out just a bit so we can see them just a little bit without getting that background going. I mean, you can tell, you know, you know, vehicle-wise, they do have a good scaling. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so, uh, so, I mean, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead, get Megatron out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and start on the transformation. So one of the first things we're going to do is take off the missiles. Now the missiles are on a pliable rub rubbery type plastic or rubber. I'll put that there, take the other one off. And now I'm going to go ahead and detach the legs from the underside. So they are attached. There is, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try and zoom in. Right there, there is, oops, there is a port right there and there is a peg right here. So that is how they're able to connect. So you just pull that off to the side and pull those down. Now the next thing we are going to do is detach this crotch area from the underside and for that you just pull down and they are connected by two ports or I should say these posts are connected by these two ports right there. Now once that is done you just twist this around and then using these two ports you're just going to I want to say you're going to slide those in oh hold on so one thing I forgot to mention there is a type of hinge right here you got to push that up and now there's a couple of ports right here and on the other side you're going to use those same port uh, posts once you swing that up, you push that down, and there you go. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take these rubbery little knee uh, decorations up, like that. And then, of course, pull his feet apart. And this will give him a 
type of gender bend in a way. And see, there you go, right there. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> now, we are going to go ahead and move these down. We're going to go ahead and detach the wings like this one's already attached and they are initially attached by that. I'm going to try and zoom in here. There you go. So there is a port, a post right there and a post right there. So once you pull those apart, I'm going to just hinge that towards the back. Now, one thing you're going to do now is you're going to split, yeah, split this portion apart. So I'm going to zoom out so you'll be able to see. And I'm going to straighten out this camera view. Like that. And sorry, folks, just making some minor adjustment camera wise. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and split this apart. This is attached by a, by a tab right there that's going to go into that little post right here. So once these are detached, you're going to turn this around and you're going to push, you're going to swing the arm. So that is on a type of ball joint there and boom. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and move these four arms. You're going to twist this down, or should say twist it around, and you're going to pull down. And, well, I should say you're going to pull this down, if I can get this to behave. Ah, there we go. Okay, so once that's down, I'm going to pull these his hand out like so and I know there's yeah ah there we go man you have to really pull hard without trying to break it which sometimes is difficult especially with a plastic figure but it allows the arm to bend at 90 degrees now these uh, these rudders it has to go down like so and this is where you go ahead and put his missile pod. If you can get it on there, of course. Whoop. Where'd it go? Shoot. Ah, there it is. Oh, okay, so now. There we go. Now, normally, there's normally just one missile pod on there but you know there we go oh yeah one other thing I forgot to mention you gotta turn this around so his crotch can be in the front but we are almost there folks almost almost but as Megatron once told Starscream in a failed assassination attempt but almost doesn't get the job done. So, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing as we did with the right arm. So we're gonna twist this around, like so. We're gonna go ahead and pull this down. Oh, geez. I'm afraid of, there we go. Huh. I'm always afraid of accidentally pulling too hard while I wind up breaking this. And seeing as how this has not been out of the out of his uh, packaging in so damn well ever <laughs> since I got it, this is the first time. So bear with me. Now we're gonna put this missile pod there. Boom. There we go. Now one other thing. I'm gonna turn these wings out like so. Right. Now we're going to go ahead and 
Turn this down. And we're going to bend this down like so. Boom. Now one thing that back here in the tail fin, it can split apart. And that is going to split right there. Now there is a tab to connect this to this uh, tab here into that small port right there. Now there is one other thing, the head. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull this chest piece forward. As you can tell, there is the head right there. We're gonna pull that out. And we're gonna twist the head around. So all we gotta do now is just, there we go. Tab that in. Tap that in and then boom, there we go. All right. And he does have his familiar head antenna. The only problem is a little bent so I'm gonna see what I can do to to get that get that straightened out but uh, Like I said, it's, it's been a long time since, you know, I, when I originally had, a, you know, the same figure years ago, I had opened them up just like I did today, uh, and I had them pose and everything. I think I had that same issue. But one other thing I noticed is that that little antenna, you know, it, you know, is pretty much red, but, um, there we go. Okay, so uh, let's see if I can raise his head so it kind of looks like he's looking at you. And like so. Let's see if I can try and. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. And I have to say, I like it. The only the only thing I don't like is that this little antenna is kind of bent. I'm gonna see if I can try and fix that. But as you can tell, he's got some really good molded detail, you know, in his legs, his long ass legs, his high heels. He does have some gapage right here, but I don't know if they ever made a third-party gap filler thing. I doubt it. Um, and, I, and let me see if we can get that that face to zoom in here. As you can tell, he's got the smirk. He is smirking. And uh, man, that like I said, this is. This is not a bad looking figure. Oh uh, man. So, uh, so give me a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pics uh, to go ahead and show off. And then we'll do some size comparisons and uh, give you my final thoughts. Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, these, I mean, the Transformer Prime uh, series of figures uh, had some really great engineering and articulation. Uh, there were some drawbacks. Uh, unlike the current line with Siege and Earthrise, uh, there were some 
issues, uh, especially with certain gimmicks. Uh, you know, especially with the mech tech stuff, uh, which is why I kind of like the uh, uh, the first edition stuff. I really wish I had the whole set of them, honestly. Uh, this one, I just got lucky, uh, you know, being part of the group, you know, allowed me to go to any type of special events, such as the Christmas get-together, uh, which I have no idea if we're going to have that. I hope we do, but... Um, you know, I'm not really so sure. But nonetheless, uh, wow. I mean, like I said, this is the first time ever that I've gone ahead and opened up this figure. So, like I said, I'm already hearing the, 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 the comments, you know, being lit up. How can you do that? But, uh, hey, you know. I did that with the one I had originally. Uh, sooner or later, it was going to happen with this one. Uh, but um, on a scale of 1 through 10, this is a great figure. Uh, very somewhat uh, somewhat accurate uh, to, uh, you know, somewhat show accurate in certain respects. Uh, the missiles could use a touch of paint. Um, also, the little... You know, helmet horn that Starscream has that could use a touch of paint on that as well. Uh, but um, other than that, one thing I didn't get a chance to do was the articulation. And of course, this can bend at 90 degrees. It does have an upper bicep swivel. Uh, it does turn at 360. The hand can bend. It's got a double jointed bend, so it can bend here, and it can bend for transformation. Doesn't swivel, sorry, and there's no finger articulation with a figure this small. Uh, there is, there is somewhat of a waist swivel, you know, right there. So, but uh, I think that's just due to transformation. Uh, his head is on a ball joint and it can look up, look down somewhat, uh, left, right. Uh, let's see, his legs are also on a ball joint as well as a mushroom peg. So he does have a type of thigh rotation here. Uh, his leg is at a can do a 90 degree bend. His feet can fold in. There is no thigh articulation, or I should say there is no ankle articulation there, so there's no ankle tilt, but he should have enough stability to give him a wide-legged stance. And like I showed you in the face, he's a smirker. <laughs> um, but uh, there we go. There he is. I mean, sheesh. You know, he is a great looking figure. Like I said, very, very, uh, very, very reminiscent of, of the show. You know, so. I mean, like I said, I like him. I uh, like him a lot. I'm still messing around with this damn uh, head horn here. Oh man. But, uh, you know. Man. But all in all, uh, what are your thoughts on this figure? Do you have them? Do you still have them, I should say? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Leave me your comments and your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to this channel. Uh, every comment, every like, you know, basically helps out my channel a lot. And if you subscribe, you will also get, when you ring the bell icon, you'll get notifications on new videos as I make them. So, please, do that for me. Because I am trying, I mean, I've been doing this for three years, and this past year, basically, 
has been a year of where I'm doing the videos more frequently. I've invested in backdrops to go ahead and up the, uh, you know, up the production value. New lighting uh, is also one of the reasons why is to go ahead and give a more, you know, more better presence for the vi uh, for the figures by better lighting. So, and. I have seen that there has been some increase in viewership as well as possible subscriptions. So, um, but I mean, let's face it. I mean, next Saturday will be the 31st of the month. And I am hoping that I do see, you know, a lot of subscribers on here. Doesn't mean that I'm going to end the channel because of it, because I'm still going to do it. It just means that, um, you know, I'm not going to be able to do what I promised, which is, you know, you know, celebrate that 100th milestone, you know, later this month. So I'd like to do that. I'd like you all to help me do that. So, like, uh, so uh, at this point, there's nothing more to say about that uh, other than giving him a rating. I forgot about that. So on a scale of 1 through 10, I'd like to go ahead and give Starscream an 8. Uh, you know, um, you know, uh, other than the minor nitpicks such as painting on the missiles and the, uh, and the head crest, uh, he's not a bad figure. He stands very well. He poses very well. Uh, you know, I don't really... You're probably wondering, well, then why not give him a higher score? Uh, good question. Um, if nothing else, if not an 8, I give him a 9. Because, let's face it, nobody's that perfect. <laughs> uh, so, 8.5 to 9 would be my score in this case. It's a great, it's a very great figure. I like him a lot. Um, you know, so, other than that, there is... You know, first edition Starscream from Transformers Prime. This is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.